This right here is a Farinelli Cascadia 2011. The problem that this Cascadia has is a compression leak. And also it has another problem, but we're gonna start with the compression leak. The problem that it has is then uh, the coolant tank it starts getting uh, bubbles inside, and these bubbles are caused because the head gasket or something inside is letting compression leak to the coolant system. Um, it happened then the truck was running and it blew the radiator. The radiator had to be replaced on the road because of that. Also, this truck has coolant in the oil. Besides uh, the issue that it already has um, with the high compression leak on the coolant system, it has coolant in the oil, and this is causing another issue. Now we, we have coolant in the oil, and we go see the uh, oil separator, and we have a lot of smoke coming from there. And this smoke is caused because of the compression leak Then the cylinder is having. The cylinder is leaking somewhere compression in any area, and this is leaking all the way to the crankcase system, causing many issues. Of course, to repair this problem, we know what we have to do. We have to take the engine apart and we have to uh, replace the cylinder liners. I have shown this many, many times on my videos and uh, it's a basic repair. The different thing engines suffer a problem, especially this engine that has almost one million miles or over a million miles, if I am correctly, I'm not sure exactly. Um, but uh, especially this engine that has high mileage, um, it's normal to have uh, problems with the, with the engine at any point. Um, repairing the engine is one of the best things to do right now on this, uh, uh, on this DD15 engine. And that includes to remove the heads, to remove the cams, remove the bottom parts and everything. There is a couple ways you can check for a compression leak and the easiest way is using the DDL software. On the DDL software, you're gonna go and see the uh, idle speed balance and then you're gonna see how the cylinders are working and there is there could be one or two cylinders that are leaking in this case cylinder number, number three is the one that is letting compression leak and we have a red number on 100 and this means that the computer is trying to compensate uh, over fueling the cylinder number three but this cylinder three has no response and that's the reason why it was red it stopped at uh, 100 so the computer what it does in this case because now we have a dead cylinder which is cylinder number three the computer will add more fuel to that cylinder to compensate the work of the engine so the engine keeps on working smooth but because the cylinder is dead it's not responding so the computer stops at 100 so it doesn't you know keep some fueling and destroying other components by overfueling the system. Um, in this case, uh, this engine, of course, right, we are on the way to get it apart, working on it, get a couple components off and everything. But I'm going to show you later in a different video how, like, how the components were inside. And um, it is nothing new for you guys, especially if you've been familiar with my channel, it's nothing new to show DD15 engines with issue, but this is something that ha can happen to most of the DD15 engines at any point in their life. So you will have to pay attention to any single problem that you have before taking the truck over the road. For example, this truck was about to go over the road and uh, the driver, the driver actually came and checked the truck and he noticed that he was blowing some smoke from the crankcase filter. And he is the one that decided, hey, you know what, call the owner of the truck and say, hey, you know what, we have an issue with the truck, send it to the mechanic to, to check it out. And, and yeah, the truck is here, that's the reason why. Otherwise, in, in, in some occasion, drivers won't check that and then they wanna take the truck over the road and this will break over the road. This definitely will have a bigger issue over the road and that will cause a big, big situation, especially when the truck is many miles away. Now, uh, of uh, the cylinder, the broken cylinder in this case is cylinder number three, but this doesn't mean that we are just going to replace the cylinder that is broken. We are going to do a full overhaul because that is the best way to maintain these trucks over the road. And uh, that will be, as I say, this, I'm going to show other details of my other video that I'm gonna do, which is going to be the continuation to this video uh, that I'm doing right now.
If you have a low budget and you want to repair your D15 engine, like for example, if you have no money to do the full overhaul, then it's going to cost you around sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars. But you have around ten thousand dollars to do the, the repair. You can just replace the cylinder number three. In this case, that will be the solution: repairing the cylinder number three, replacing the head gasket because it's possible the head gasket has an issue, and uh, doing some other repairs, whatever a gasket and everything else. But this go doesn't guarantee the repair completely. So it will buy you some time to work the truck, but it won't buy you uh, enough time to get the money back in some cases. So it will be a hard decision for you to make. And uh, it, there is ways to save money on these trucks, but there are many ways where you cannot save money, especially on engines. The situation, as I say, with this truck is then we have a broken cylinder. The way to inspect the cylinder is go into the computer and see which cylinder is the one that is not getting contribution. Then we have the uh, clear sign, then we have compression leak by seeing the tank, the coolant tank is blowing coolant. And we have a compression leak too internally in the cylinder to the crankcase system by seeing um, the uh, crankcase breather. Uh, letting, releasing a lot of smoke, a lot of fuel or oil, whatever that is in there. So there is a couple of ways you can determine if your engine is broken. And in this video, pretty much I'm showing you that. Uh, showing you the ways how to determine uh, uh, broken engine, DD15 engines in this case. And uh, it's nothing new, as I say, nothing new than engines, DD15 engines break over the time. It's nothing new. There is always something uh, happening with these engines. But uh, you have to keep on mind, then these trucks go over the road, many miles away from your city of destination, your city, your, your home, your, your, uh, your town. You go many miles away and these, you know, these engines don't stop. They, they, they run 24-7, so it, it is normal. They're gonna break eventually. So it, that's the reason why when you are get um, the, when the, when the time comes to repair them, you have to invest all the money necessary to keep them over the road. If you don't do that, then it's going to be expensive repair later because you can be broken on the road and that will cause many other issues, which is like um, delivering the lot later, having someone else to pick it up, towing your truck back to your city, to your town. And uh, that will be super expensive after, um, after you know, you put, all, put it all together. But anyway, this is all the video right now. Stay tuned for the second video of this, which is going to show you the whole engine disassembly, basically, and seeing the cylinder that was broken and the whole cause of the, the whole reason why this engine was torn apart. And, uh, and, and as always, if you have any questions about these videos, comment below. And you want to see me on Instagram, you can look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. And as always, like the video, share it, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.